So, oh. The basic nuts and bolts of Mesmer, it, um, center, centers around clones. Um. Just to kill rising. And there is a difference between phantasms and clones. When you summon a phantasm, it's, um, it doesn't really do it there. They don't really do much, but after a few seconds, they actually become clones. They, um, yeah, that might have been a bad call here. But uh, after a few seconds, these, um, phantasms will become clones, after which you can use you can use them to shatter, which are these abilities here. Destroy all your clones. My dust. But again, when you first summon them, they're just plain gene phantasms. They're not, they're, they haven't taken full physical form. So you have to wait a few seconds. And then another thing too is, um, both the, all the illusions, all these illusions here, they have, you have to have a target for it. If you don't have a target, the spell is void. Like, oh, I won't target anybody. See, a clone doesn't appear at all. You know, again, nobody targeted. Take my dust. Again, you must have an enemy targeted to use that skill. Once again, all your illusions have to be able to target somebody. So, early. I gotta turn that down. Then earlier, when you saw me doing the uh, Dragon Arena runs, um, when the small lesser monsters were out, I didn't use these at all. I didn't use any of them. Because monsters ain't gonna stay up long enough for them to be... to really be worth... to really for them to do any damage. So, they'll be dead the moment their target dies. I only use... Uh, cast the clones on bosses and then something else too if not for this I probably want to be playing Mesmer the shatter effect also occurs at your location so even if you don't have any clones at all you can still cast shatter and you'll still get some but if you can see here the abilities are more effective the more clones you have This, uh, again, this is, uh, this is the effect per clone, including yourself. So, I guess in this example here, distortion, immune to conditions and damage. It says one second, but if you have three clones with you, and you shit and blow them all, you're gonna have four seconds of, uh, immunity. Um, it kind of. I'm hoping you can see the tip, see the tool tip. Hang on. Yeah, my taskbar is fucking up. There it goes. No, can't tell. Yeah, and then the basic bread and butter jab attack. It bounces between, um, it bounces twice, basically hitting up to three targets. If it hits an enemy, it inflicts the bottom two torment and fusion. Um, if it hits an ally, including myself, then it gives me a uh, fury and a uh, might. And uh, I think, I test this out real quick. If there's a choice between, um, ally or enemy that uh, it looks like it alternates between enemy and ally and the uh, the little numbers that you're seeing the little numbers that you're seeing 
are all coming from here. Are all coming from the uh, torment damage and confusion. But probably no confusion because they're not actually attacking. And then, Eat my and dust. this ain't gonna matter because I'm fighting training dummies right now and they're not gonna attack me. But yeah, whenever you have this up and if you get hit, you get a random buff, they get a random mob, debuff. Um, kind of the same thing here. And again, um, like I said too, these are, um, like I said in one of my other videos, these, this is also a combo field, it's ethereal. Uh, combo finisher is leap, so... And because I didn't target, I don't get the clone. And he has chaos order, which again, me which means uh, whenever you're hit, then basically this is what kicks in. And then, in case you're curious, the bar that you see down here, vulnerable while broken, it's either gonna be, uh, it's either gonna be light, or it's gonna be blue like this, or it could also be, um, the shield at the left will be red. Oh, and this is called a defiance bar, by the way. Um, but uh, after once you've uh, once you've used up this whole blue bar, it turns red, to which you can't do any more um, any more uh, disabling type moves on them. It'll start like a light brown. And it'll fill up and up and up, and then it'll turn into blue again. After which you can keep uh, inflicting more uh, more disabling stuff. And then, and then some enemies, like bosses, they will be completely immune to all disabling moves. You, you can't, you can't affect, affect them with it at all. You'll, you might have seen that. It looks like a brown, looks like a black chain, kind of like a black chain thingy. Then that means they're completely immune. You can do nothing. Strong. Alright, so F3 is flashing, it interrupts him. Whoops. Too late. But yeah, I was gonna try to I was gonna try to shatter all my clones around him and you'll see how how loud. Uh, I'll quick that up. Bar drops. So we'll try it again. And you're gonna have to wait a few seconds, and you'll know they're up. They're up and running. And for some reason, I only got two. F3 is flashing. Technically, that ability would have um, would have stunned him for three seconds. Or if I had all three clones up and running, it would have dazed him for four seconds. And then there's other effects too. Um, Eat my dust. And again, con confusing nearby foes. Whenever um, they take damage, whenever they use an ability. Um, and then over here, I can't, I can't switch abilities right now. But this is my main um, this here, which I hardly ever use. So, this is called 
These three abilities are called signets. Nearly every class has these. Um, they give you a passive ability. Yeah, they give you a passive ability, but if you activate them, you lose that passive ability for 30 seconds. We well, you know when it's on cooldown, but you'll get a, a special. You know, same thing here. Get swiftness and a random boom every 10 seconds. And then these uh these mantras. Eat my um, dust. They start at zero charges. So you can charge them up, but unbroken, unshaken. Have a nice Resolve. wait. But once you do, once you do charge it up. Oh my freaking god. Bad time for this album to come on, so... I guess this one. But yeah, it's one of those albums that I'd rather listen to while playing Gems of War. A type of... It's a turn-based game where I can just actually sit back and, like, get off on the music. Or a bad choice of words. I can sit back and get into the music. So, but once again, uh, mantras. Got two charges of that. Refresh it, you know, removes conditions. So, you know, same thing here. It can take a long time to charge up, but once you do, eat my dust. So, and then, and then the um. And that for those that don't know, the way Guild Wars 2 works is uh, you have a, uh, you know, you got a whole bunch of uh, mini talent trees. And uh, one great thing about uh, PvP, I gotta. I'll have to go back here. And then, um. One great thing about PvP is um you have access to all the all the abilities, all the talent, all the uh, mini trees, including the uh, the elite ones, the ones that you can only unlock with expansion content. And um, yeah, I don't really want to do it here, but so it's it's a good this is a good place. To try different builds out, try out different things. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the new stuff here. But what I am gonna do, I probably won't be talking as much. It's the kill rising. Illusionary blade that creates a clone at its wrist. Okay, so this kind of does the same thing too, but it's on an eight-second cooldown. It can bounce up to four times though. So it's only given a vulnerability to enemies, but might to everybody else. Probably won't be using that much. Okay. So you can't you can't hard cast any illusions with this one. Or that one you can.
dust. Hey, see that defiance bar just dropped on almost nothing? doing say dragon arena i wouldn't really want to use this ability unless it's a boss that that actually can't be knocked back So he only, uh, he only rolls through pose one time. I'm probably doing it all the time, but it's some confusing wording. So, I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Yeah, that way so I can go out of combat. And then I'm gonna... Where, would you ever want to have the staff? Yeah. So this isn't really a... It's not a damage over time... Time weapon. It's not a damage over time weapon. Armored up. Yeah, so it's just... It's raw damage. Go rising. Yeah, it's a it's a raw damage, raw damage one. Arrow blade. Oh, six bounces. Oh, damn. Eat my dust. Can see it. I probably do that one. That's going to be rare, except maybe in PvP. So... Eat my dust! Probably, maybe, maybe this one. I'm assuming this means when they're not casting spells and not just uh, merely auto attacking.
I mean, otherwise, otherwise, damn, I think I found my new weapon. But, um... I'll tell you what, since I've already changed this bottom one, let me try one of the elite specs. First, let me see. Some illusion to attack your bow. Okay, not a pistol person. So, yeah, it... More health percentage. But I guess on the downside, there's there's nothing really, no combo effects. So. Eat my dust. Oh, something else I forgot to mention. Got to talk about the uh, middle and uh, upper here. These will probably all stay the same. Yeah. Eat my dust. Okay. Shatter skill too. This one here. Using a torch, so you can use the. Um, this has two charges. But, um, if I'm using a greatsword, because, like I said before, it's, um, it's just straight damage. It's like no damage over time. I don't need to have that one. So, I'll probably go with that one. Is the uh, the healing part? Although, not really sure I'm gonna need this now. And um, the only time you want to use medic feedback is like when you are doing world bosses or any area where there's gonna be a lot of people dying, cause um. This will kick in when you revive anybody. Even like a, a level one shopkeeper. If he's dead, you try to revive him, this will kick in too. So, this ability doesn't differentiate. Eat my 
like dust. Yeah, and um, this here, it actually combos with this, but only once every 10 seconds. So if I was going to go with the uh, great sword route, I would be using Giver. But I would be using um, I'd actually be using what's called Harrier, the Harrier weapon set. Um, it's a uh, power, healing power, concentration. Is mostly for our uh, damage over time. Eat my dust. That's why. Yeah, I gotta... I'll probably have to do this on my own time. Let's have a Celestial Greatsword in here somewhere. Nope. Yeah, I'll have to make one. So, 